now that the uh, lathe is running nice and quiet with its new frequency drive and the tail suck alignment issue has been resolved and the world's weirdest spindle problem has been fixed it is time to try a bit of uh, precision machining I'm going to make a dedicated center drill holder again the last time I tried this I failed because I was unable to drill the hole for the center drill precise enough hopefully this time I will have more success I'm ready to start cutting the taper. You might uh, remember this piece here. I used it in the top slide uh, alignment uh, video. It's uh, pretty uh, nasty and hard to cut stuff. So it will be a real challenge for this old lathe and its uh, amateur operator. Um, I don't like how this uh, top slide is exposed to all the chips. But um, I'll try to keep them away from the uh, dovetails as uh, good as I can. Also um, I'm a bit worried that when this gets hot it will expand and it will seize up the spindle. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Pretty rough. I don't think there's uh, much of a radius on this tool bed, so that also uh, doesn't help with the surface finish. I will uh, switch to another tool later on. be good. Now I'll continue later because I want to watch the Formula One race. Well I'm back. I had a nice nap trying to watch the Formula 1 and uh, I'm ready to... oh this is nasty this is beyond horrible yeah that was bound to happen It seems to work a little better at a slower speed. Still, lots of nasty bits and the most horrible finish you'll ever see. Worst surface finish ever. Uh, I'll switch to a ramp now, sir. Tool now.
a huge improvement. I still need to remove quite a bit of material. I'm having a hard time uh, turning slow enough. Still too fast. And the stalls. So this is shit. No good. Let's uh, try out a shear tool. I've uh, never used one before, so I guess this is a good opportunity to try it out. So far, the most difficult part has been uh, turning the uh, top slide at a consistent slow speed. Um, although the material is very difficult as well, but uh, I keep hitting my hand against the tailstock, and um, there is enough drag in the, the top slide to just make it almost impossible to uh, turn at a nice, slow, consistent speed. It's producing very fine chips. Finish isn't bad. Still catches the nail a bit. So up till here was cut with the shear tool and this was with the round nose tool. I just cut down the taper to the size that is uh, more or less correct and now I will try and uh, clean it up with the uh, shear tool. I might be taking off too much, but it does feel pretty smooth and rather hot. Well, pretty warm. Um, it took me 10 minutes to take one pass with the shear tool, but it uh, looks pretty good. I'm very happy with this, but uh, the spindle is uh, starting to drag quite considerably. The new frequency drive, um, it went up to uh, 35 degrees. At the moment I'm running the frequency drive without a fan connected, because I haven't uh, found a uh, suitable uh, temperature switch. My local electronic store didn't have any. I'm using some brake cleaner to uh, cool down the part and also to remove all the oil. And the spindle is already running freer. Because now I'm going to uh, use this piece of uh, Arkansas stone to uh, flatten this out. Even though it feels pretty smooth I can still feel there are some uh, high spots. I've uh, run the Arkansas stone over here for about five minutes and it uh, feels a lot better. You can see those uh, shiny areas where the high spots used to be. That's good enough for me. Let's do a test fit. not good enough for me. It's only uh, in contact at the rear of the quill. I will uh, straighten out the top slide and uh, remove some material over here. Well let's see if I uh, improve things. Oh yeah, much better. 
it's pretty stuck already. <laughs> I like it. So now comes the difficult part. Drilling a hole in here that will be precise enough to hold a center drill. Preferably without any run out. Have a look at this. Looks like I still have a tail suck alignment issue. This uh, could either be wear in the bed or uh, the tail stop casting or the, uh, the uh, internal taper in the quill is still not uh, done correctly. Well it's pretty pointless to drill a hole now. Um, so uh, I guess I fail again at um, making a uh, center drill holder. Well at least I had some fun this afternoon. And I might have uh, learned a thing or two, but uh, I'm not sure. Well, at least I had a nice nap watching the Formula One. Well, that's it uh, for me. To be continued.